It might look to you as if I've been eating magic beans or something, but this is honestly how much my hair has grown since I did my DIY short bob haircut two months ago. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the plan is, I want to do a cut today to add some layers and texture. I'm going to shorten the length at the back a bit. It's, it's really grown up really quickly there. I've been enjoying this uh, blunt cut uh, classic bob hairstyle for the last two months, but summer is officially here and I'm thinking, you know, I want to switch up to something a little bit lighter, more fun, a different color perhaps. For today, you will need a good comb, preferably one with a sharp point because you will need to separate parts of the hair on your head. A good pair of hair cutting scissors. They didn't cost very much, like six bucks, but I'm really getting my mileage out of these. A spray bottle of water. Some hair ties as usual. A couple of my trusty hair clips. Also, I have a good mirror setup where I'm in front of my bathroom mirror and I've got a full length mirror in front of me. So I can see what's happening um, behind and in front because you know after all this is a DIY haircut. Today is gonna be experimental. Wish me luck. Um, this time around, I want to separate out the middle section of my hair, which is um, surrounding the middle third of the skull, and that's where I'm going to cut some layers in.
watch you blow a mile Please don't come over Cause you're not sober Yeah Now you know that ain't right If you two knew you was coming over That would be a problem yeah. If our friends knew undercover love And they would try to solve it Solve it, yeah Me and you Now done the middle section, I've cut my layers in, it's feeling a lot lighter already and now just to complete the whole layer cutting process, I'm gonna go in flat across and do some point cutting. Cause you know I'll read. Don't make me do this, I feel so foolish, no. If you dude knew you was coming over, that would be a problem. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it. Alright, so now that's done, it's time to cut layers into the top convex of my head. a nice haircut and completely like mucking it up. <laughs> I am halfway there now and you can see I've got a still very um, conservative sweet outline here and this seems much more edgy. So immediately you can see like my volume is just There's a lot of ways I can play with this length, and uh, it's it's lighter, it's got movement, um, and I'm not even finished cleaning up yet. This is what it looks like, uh, just having naturally air dried from the spray water. In case you're wondering how to clean up the mess in your bathroom after you're done cutting your hair, the best way is actually to gather the hair while the hair is drying into a plastic bag. And then after that, you know, the tiny little bits that scattered everywhere, it just goes easy with a vacuum cleaner. 
think how you determine how much you cut is actually by the angle at which you pull the hair out away from the head. So if you keep it at a lower angle, you will have longer layers. If you pull it up at a higher angle like this, like 45 degrees to the head, and you cut along that line, you will have really short layers, like uh, what I have right now. <laughs> Alright then, thanks for watching. I hope you have fun playing with your own hair at home. <laughs> and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!